Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 13 of Empower. Uh, we're going to do the wave. We're going to do classic. Um, so come lie on the floor. Come, come. So landing on the floor, your knees are bent. Unpack your shoulders. Reach your arms wide. And just really feel that the backs of your arms are dropping into the floor and the front of your shoulders are pulling your shoulders backwards. And then you're widening your lower back, lengthening your spine and really like pulling the back of your body to the floor. Imagine that you can get as much surface of the back of you to be connected and in contact and sink and pull and draw yourself back a little bit more. So really grounding your elbows, the backs of your hands, the backs of your shoulders, your shoulder blades, the length of your spine. There's a dance between my lower back and my rib cage. That's kind of, if I pull one down, the other one pops or just notice pelvis, lower back, the dance of the pelvis and the lower back. And then begin to rock your knees from side to side. And as you rock your knees, in the beginning, don't let your arms and shoulders move. So you're keeping them really steady. So I'm not letting my shoulder lift off the floor. So my knees don't go as far as what they usually do. Now let your shoulders soften and lift and drop your knees down as far as they want to go. And feel how it's different when your shoulders move. Let's nice. move into gliders. Right knee travels towards the left shoulder. And then left knee turn, travels towards the right shoulder. And just travel from one side to the other side. Just feel that through the hips. Feel it through your belly, your rib cage. Really squeezing into your gliders nice pause in the center cool rolling up and down along your spine you can have your arms long beside you or your arms out into a t and just roll up and down along your spine lifting up rolling and dropping down lifting up and dropping down Nice, one more time. Rising up and dropping down. Nice. Walk your feet a tiny bit closer together. Bring your arms long beside you. And now rise up halfway and then draw your right knee up towards your right shoulder. So my bum is floating in the air and my right knee is up towards my right shoulder. And then lengthen your right leg long and out into zoomies. And draw your right knee up towards your chest. Your bum drops a little bit, but it's still floating. Oh, and then lengthen your leg long. I'm going to include my arms, right elbow, right knee, and then reach your arms overhead as you lengthen into zoomies. And try and get as super long as you can when you're reaching. Squeeze. Long. Squeeze. Long. One more time. Squeeze and long nice bend your knee drop your bum to the floor pause nice lift your bum a little bit and then draw your left knee up towards your shoulder and then lengthen your left leg long so that your thighs are the same height bend your left knee draw it up towards you and then lengthen your leg long i'm going to include my arms bend your knee draw your elbow to your knee Lengthen long, elbow to your knee, long, elbow to your knee, long, one more time, elbow to your knee, long, nice, both feet to the floor, squeeze both knees up towards you and you're going to wrap your arms around the backs of your knees and just pause there. 
let your lower back sink widen into the floor or you let your breath drop down into your belly nice straighten your legs reach up hold on somewhere your feet if that feels good your toes your ankles your calves your thighs wherever it is that you hold on and just pull your legs towards you moving your feet keep them connected leaning into the backs of your calves really creating connection and length through your legs nice keep hold of the right leg lower the left leg down come back up keep hold of the left leg lower the right leg down come back up and then just travel hold on to the right leg lower the left leg down notice the um, the range that's happening in your legs the strength that's happening in the legs stabilizing nice deepening into your breath and really noticing your inner attitude what's the inner attitude of you right now maybe you drop your calf until it touches the floor nice hold on to both feet and pull both feet so your bum lifts a little bit off the floor and then bend your knees and touch your toes to the floor stretch your legs up pull your feet so your bum lifts a little bit off the floor bend your knees touch the toes straighten pull bum lifts knees bend toes touch straighten pull bum lifts knees bend toes touch one last time straighten pull bum lifts knees bend toes touch let them land and then just sway your knees from side to side nice so from here roll over and come into a cat pose all the way over hands and knees underneath your shoulders and hips and then rounding your back and arching your back rounding your back arching your back rounding your back and arching nice bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand and then rounding your back arching your back rounding your back arching your back rounding arching pause there looking forward with lifting your chest looking forward your the weight of your belly is dropping down and you have a sense of weight into that right hip nice and then gently just rock forward and backwards keep looking forward with your torso as you rock forward and backwards straighten your leg so as you do this keep your foot flat to the floor so we're not letting our toes lift off the floor so be limited by that movement keep looking forward you're arching your back nice round your back pause and then rock forward and backwards keeping rounded keep your toes flat as you rock forward and backwards Can you really lean back? And so you're pointing your toes to keep your toes on the floor. Nice. Both knees together, push back, downward dog. And just finding that sense of length through your body, connection from your hands all the way back into your hips, down into your feet. nice drop your knees to the floor bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand round your back arch your back 
Notice how it's different in your spine and your pelvis. Around your back. Arch your back. Around your back. Arch your back. One more time. Around your back and arch. Pause there in the arching. Looking forward. Lifting the chest. There's weight through the belly down into that hip. Your head is lifted. Nice. And then rock forward and backwards, keeping your toes flat to the floor. Keep looking forward. So we're always looking for new ways to move, not the same habitual ways that we always move because our nervous system, we want to keep teaching our nervous system new ways of being because it's a bit like a potato peeler. If you've only one way to, to peel potatoes, if you lose that potato peeler, then you've no more ways to peel potatoes <laughs> around your back. So having a dexterity rocking forward and backwards, keeping your toes on the floor and an ability to learn in your nervous system for movement, connectivity, is just really important. Keeping your back rounded, keeping your toes flat, rock forward and backwards. Nice, both knees together, push back, downward dog. Great length from the palms of your hands to the soles of your feet. Nice. Drop your knees, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lengthen your left leg. Round your back deeply and then arch your back, look forward. Round your back, lift your hips. Arch your back, drop your hips. Round your back, lift your hips as high as you can. Arch your back, look forward, drop your hips. One more time, round your back, lift your hips, arch your back, drop your hips, pause. So now I'm lifting my chest, lifting my head, I'm looking forward, there's a weight in my pelvis and my back leg is really straight and strong. Breathe into your belly. I'm engaging into this right foot and pushing my heel into the floor. Nice. Drop your right knee to the floor. Bring both hands to your, or bring your right hand to your right knee and rise upwards. Nice. Hands to your hips. Rock forward. And then straighten your front leg and just lift your toes off the floor. Drop. Back. Forward. Back. Forward back so go halfway so that my hip is directly over the left knee reach both arms up towards the ceiling pull your elbows down into baby swan and then big swan and then travel forward and look upwards so lift the chest looking upwards really pull your elbows back and down and then rising reach your arms up towards the ceiling reversing backwards Room, drop forward, pull your elbows down, rising, arms go up, dropping, elbows go down, rising, arms go up, dropping, elbows go down, pause there, pulling your elbows deeply down, lift your chest. Nice, both hands to the floor, both knees together, push back, downward dog. Just creating connection, length. Breath is in your belly. Nice. Drop both knees to the floor. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. From here, straighten, straighten your right leg. Round your back, lift your hips, arch your back, drop your hips. Round your back, lift your hips, 
arch your back, and drop your hips. Round, lift, arch, drop, pause. Chest is lifting, looking forward, back leg is straightening, breathe. Nice. Drop your right knee to the floor, left hand, left knee, rising up, hands to your hips. Rock forward, lean back, straighten your leg, come up onto your heel. Rock forward, lean back, straighten your leg. Forward, back. Nice. Pause halfway, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Bend your elbows and then pull them down into swan. Lean forward, look up. Nice. Straighten your arms, rise. And then lean forward, drop your elbows. Rise. Drop. Rise. Next time we drop, you're going to hold it. Lifting the chest. Rising through the sternum, looking upwards, really leaning up and forward. Now, both hands to the floor, both knees together, push back, downward dog. And just feel that, the length of you. Nice, last one. Knees to the floor. Step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Lengthen your back leg. And this time turn your back foot so it's at a 45 degree angle and bring your right elbow to your right knee. Bring your left hand to your hip. And just pause there, really leaning into that right elbow, lengthening deeply into the left leg. Lean your shoulders backwards and really feel like your head is turning towards the left. Chest is turning towards the left. Nice. Drop your left hand down in front of you and then long beside your ear until it's straight long towards the front top of your mat. And then create length from your baby toe all the way into your fingertips. You can, if you want, drop your right hand to the floor on the big toe side of your foot. Or just keep your elbow on the floor, on your knee. Nice, both hands to the floor, step back, <laughs> downward dog. Last one, drop your knees to the floor. Left foot to the outside of your left hand. Lengthen your back leg, turn the back foot at a 45 degree angle. Left elbow, left knee, right hand to your hip. And just feel that sense of really leaning into your elbow, right leg is straight. Draw your shoulders back. Turning the belly. Nice. Sweep your right hand down in front of you and then long beside your ear. Create length from the baby toe side of your foot all the way into your fingertips. Stay here with your left elbow on your left thigh or bring your left hand to the floor. See what you want to do. Both are really good. Nice. Sweep your hand down. Turn your toes towards the right side of your mat. Mm -mm. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then come sit on, your floor, on the floor. Roll your shoulders, big circles. And then in the other direction. Twist over towards the right. Lengthening through your spine, being up really tall. I can hear the birds. I could hear birds really early this morning. It's supposed to be um, Aurora. Didn't see it really much. Stars are amazing. Birds are singing really early. And I was trying to work out, somebody was asking me, have I noticed a difference in the light in the morning? 
because Galway City is the same direction as the sunrise this morning at around quarter past six, I was wondering, is that the sun? Is that twilight, nautical twilight? Or the first one to happen is nautical twilight, change direction. Nautical twilight is because it's always brighter on the sea because there's no horizons. So nautical twilight. And then there's civil twilight, which is land-based twilight. And then there's dawn. So I think I was seeing nautical twilight, maybe. <laughs> it seemed like it was slightly brighter. But again, I don't know if that was the always city. Come back to sit. Roll your shoulders again. And then we're going to wrap. So bring your arms wide and then turn your chest towards the right and then let your left hand drop down behind you and swing your right hand to your left shoulder. So my right arm is across the front of my body and my left arm is across the back of my body. Turn, your arms go wide. Turn your chest towards the left. Wrap your right hand behind you, left hand across the front of you. And really slowly, only go as far as feels comfortable. So the, this, the less you twist, the easier it is. Is that true? I think it's challenging. That shoulder that I hurt carrying a puppy back in from the chickens. <laughs> Still, it catches me on the forward. And it also catches me on the back. It's that rotator cuff stuff. So if you have rotator cuff going on, just be careful. So wrap forward to the right. And then wrap forward to the left. Left arm is behind you. Right hand is in front of you. And then just sit the straight and do the same thing. So wrap your hand across the front, left hand across the back. Hmm, even just straight, that's really cool. Wrap. Go really high with the front hand, high with the back hand. Go really low with the front hand, low with the back hand. And then feel kind of a momentum, like swing, swing. Like you're being turned by the swing of your arms. It's like turn. It's like my arms are like wrapping themselves as I turn. Nice. Drop your ear down on the right. Forward. Left. Forward. Right. Forward. Left forward. Come lie on your back. Come all the way down. Land on the floor. How is it to land on the floor? It's always this ongoing debate I have. You know, how... Because I can't see. I'm like can't see ye. I don't know exactly what you're doing. I'm never sure how hard to push or how big to go with my movements. So today's class was bigger. And I'm just going to see, is that okay? Is that okay with you that we've gone bigger? I feel like it is. Um, I feel like bigger at the moment is really engaging. It's empowering. It's connecting. I have to trust that you will be okay. <laughs> Correct. Roll over onto your side. Pause there with your arm underneath your head, maybe lying on your side. And just set an intention for the day. Nice. So stay there, maybe. Stay there lying on your side, thinking about your intention, feeling the kind of the cuteness of lying on your side after yoga class. 
um there's something about that moment of just lying there that's it's really nice um so i will see tomorrow uh, day 14 so yeah so there's only like 10 days 11 days left after that because we finish on the 25th of this month so that there's a gap at the end um so be good be great be you and yeah i'll see you tomorrow ciao ciao Thank mm -hmm. you.